Three. Right now, a live look at the scene in Highland Park, Illinois. Uh, police say about six people were killed, more than two dozen others injured after gunfire brought a tragic end to the 4th of July parade there. Uh, ABC's Justin Finch has the latest developments. Supposed to be a day of family celebration horror. On a day that we came together to celebrate community and freedom, we're instead mourning the loss the tragic loss of life and struggling with the terror that was brought upon us. Terrifying moments as shots began firing and crowds were scrambling for safety. I just remember seeing like smoke on the ground. We were literally close by to where it all happened. Um, I, hear, I remember hearing shootings. Police say the suspect was firing into crowds from on top of a building. This woman says her best friend's sister was feet away from meeting up with them when she was shot. I'm sorry, you know, for her sister, and, and you know, I'm here for her, and I hope that she gets better. This man says he ran with his son to safety and saw victims wounded and bleeding and an officer cradling a child. I just saw an officer carrying him, and he was just knocked out, so I, I pray that he fainted. Investigators say they're looking for a person of interest, 22-year-old Robert Bobby E. Cremo III, who may be driving a 2010 silver Honda Fit. Police say a rifle has been recovered. The Highland Park Parade shooting is the kind of holiday violence that the Department of Homeland Security and other law enforcement branches have been concerned about. With a busy travel weekend, fewer COVID restrictions and larger celebrations, a heightened alert for more threats from extremists and lone wolf attackers. President Biden reacting this afternoon. You all heard what happened today, but each day we're reminded there's nothing guaranteed about our democracy, nothing guaranteed about our way of life. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker says his office is closely watching the situation and that state police are assisting in the investigation. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. And police do have that suspect in custody.